Well, good morning. It is a, uh, a pleasure to be with you this morning. And to first, let me uh, thank the uh, president of the American Bar Association, my wife and my uh, firstborn daughter, are both attorneys. So I can't win any debates at home. So I'm happy to be here. I want to thank you for co-sponsoring this and the MacArthur Foundation for all of its great work, uh, but especially for its continued focus uh, in an area in which uh, often uh, others uh, turn their uh, attention away from. Criminal justice uh, and juvenile justice in particular have been uh, mainstays of the foundation's work over many years, and I want to thank you for all that you're doing. And this particular effort, uh, Owen and I had dinner uh, with a number of others uh, last night, and in Francis, uh, we enjoyed a, a great meal, uh, but learning more about Owen's work in building this network uh, and how impressive indeed it is, mainly because you have such a, uh, a focus on making sure that Philadelphia is well represented. <laughs> you know, uh, so from Stephen uh, to uh, you, you, have, you have Penn and Temple and, you know, and everybody in between well represented. So, you know, politics is all local at the end of the day. So, uh, but no, seriously, let me make a few important comments about the uh, subject at hand. So at the federal level, uh, I have been engaged uh, for a number of years successfully in creating a collaboration at the federal level of all of the federal agencies, including the Department of Justice, uh, in an effort to uh, think through a set of investments that we can make as a nation, the first of which is the brain mapping initiative uh, that uh, the President laid out in the State of the Union and. Uh, and more fully uh, in the East Room at the White House a few weeks ago. Uh, but a whole set of investments, rather in the imaging or diagnostic areas, uh, and that can help us uh, exploit the science in ways that can be beneficial to uh, our ongoing work towards a more perfect union. So uh, this collaboration, which has been going on since uh, uh, December of uh, 11 has uh, produced uh, some remarkable results. The final report will be available for the public uh, in June. Uh, but we are committed in a range of areas, uh, both in disease and disorders, in, uh, in, and also in terms of traumatic brain injuries, uh, and to see how the federal government can make this, uh, the, these investments really pay off over the long term. But at this particular uh, conference as you look at the intertwined uh, nature of the law in neuroscience. There's so many issues that are uh, present, and that's why the Department of Justice's involvement was very important. Now, I'm the senior appropriator for all of our science agencies and also for the Justice Department, so I have a unique ability to get people to come together and play well in this effort. Uh, to find where we can do uh, some good. We have announced, the Republican chairman and myself, uh, that we're also getting ready to launch, in this year's bill, a national uh, Blue Ribbon Commission on prison reform. This notion that we're going to incarcerate ourselves out of these uh, challenges is just uh, foolhardy. We can't afford it. And, um, and we're going to have to make some different decisions. And the more that those decisions can be informed by science, and evidence-based, uh, the better off we are. Now, this is not going to be a panacea, and it's not going to happen overnight, but the work that has been done uh, has brought uh, some attention to some of the uh, issues that are important uh, for us to consider. And at every spectrum of the process in the criminal justice system, we know that uh, neural-related uh, issues uh, play a part in memory and eyewitness accounts and, uh, and intent. Uh, but also in uh, the formulations of the impression of decision makers uh, in terms of what should happen in terms of diversion from the system and what the potential for these young people may be, uh, you know, in terms of different routes that can be pursued. So there's a lot to be learned uh, through your efforts. Uh, and my, my staff and I are committed to continuing this work uh, over the long term. And uh, I know we're going to hear a lot today about, uh, you know, uh, uh, what imaging tools can do and what uh, the various uh, parts of uh, 
some of the emerging science suggests at the moment. Uh, but I think that we know uh, all too well that we're really uh, just at the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we, there's so much more to learn. And with uh, our uh, three pounds in between our ears, uh, they have uh, tens of billions of neurons and trillions of interconnections uh, going on. It's a, um, you know, God must have had a real sense of humor when this uh, was, was put together. We are finally starting to understand now that uh, even at our lightest moments, this is a serious business. And the fact that we can invest as a country, you know, $8 billion in the James Webb Telescope to see into the heavens is wonderful. But we need better imaging tools to understand the inner workings of our own brains. And that's an investment that we have not yet stepped up uh, fully to, uh, to embrace. And so what I'm committed to doing is getting the federal government and our science investments to be more relevant uh, to uh, everyday life here on Earth. That is not to say that I'm not for a big science. Uh, and I'm also for big data. I mean, I think the work that's being done in Harris County, looking at the criminal records and looking at how what we can discern from that uh, is as important as a, a big data project as any other in our country. And so we need to make science relevant so that we can earn the support of the public in terms of their willingness to invest more in science. And there's no more important area in science than neuroscience. So uh, I'm happy to be here this morning. And I'm, uh, uh, I'm inspired uh, that the work that you have been uh, engaged in and you will continue to be engaged in will help inform uh, some of the work of me and my colleagues uh, in Washington. And so um, you begin this morning an effort that I think will be uh, as uh, Lori suggested, a watershed moment. Uh, and it will require us, however, not just to do the thinking, uh, but we also have to do the work. Uh, Nehemiah said we have to have a mind to work in order to rebuild the city. Thank you.